To use Allen Bradley's 843E Ethernet-based encoder, we're going to need to install an add-on profile in Studio 5000. In our previous video, Amber configured the IP address of the Ethernet encoder as 192.168.156. Next, we need to add it to Studio 5000's configuration. And if we look in the manual right here at the end, it says the 843E encoder add-on profile is required install an add-on profile on page 83. The add-on profile comes in Studio 5000, starting with version 33. If version 31 or 32 are used, go to the PCDC, which is pretty much where you get all your downloads from Rockwell. And so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do it in 32 this time. And later on, I may do it in 34, although it's really easy in it. So I'm going to open this up. And in the search dialog here, I'm going to type 843E, and that should be enough to get me there. And right there it is. We want this 843E version 1 add-on profile. Notice there is an 843ES. Don't click that one on this one. We're going to do that in a later video. And then we'll download it and just select the add-on profile, whatever the latest version is, download, and download now. And I'm going to accept the terms and download. Then right below here are the instructions. So I'm going to extract this and go find the MP setup, which is right here. And just follow the standard prompts and install it. All right, now we'll create a new project in Studio 5000. And I'm just going to call this my encoder. 843E, and I'm going to be using the L16, and it works with any of the Compact Logics or Control Logics PLCs. And just to show how it works in 32, I'm going to select version 32, and I have two modules. Finish. Now that we have the add on profile install, we can just right click Ethernet, new module, and I'm going to type 843E, and we're going to have two options. We have the multi-turn, which starts with an M, and we have the single turn that starts with an S. And I have the multi-turn. Now, if you don't have either of these options, then you didn't get that add-on profile in the previous step configured. And I'm going to call this my Ethernet encoder. And its IP address, according to what Amber said, is 192.168.156. And leave the module definition at the default. Click OK. And that's it. So let's go ahead and download this program. And if you need any help downloading your program or configure your drivers or any of those basic steps, we have lessons on all of that. And now we're going to put it back into run mode and go see what we have. So if I open up my controller tags, I have Ethernet encoder colon I. If we open it up, mainly we have encoder here. And inside of here, we have the encoder position, which is the biggest thing that most people are going to be looking for. So now I'm just going to grab the encoder and start to turn it. And as I turn the encoder, we can see the value changing. Now, this is an absolute multi-turn encoder. So we will need to set its reference eventually. And we're going to do that in the Ethernet encoder colon O. So if I open it up, we have zero position. And if we put a one here, that's going to zero this position. So I'm just going to put a one right there. And right away, you see our position went to zero. And we can just put that back as a zero. Now, I have to admit, there is a lot more information in here than I see in my typical hardwired encoder. So I got with the product manager of the 845E encoder and got a lot of great questions answered. And I've created this playlist right here with that video and Amber's video where she showed how to configure the IP address.